Hey guys, how you doing? So, it's kind of been a while since you've seen a uh, kind of a, a good old uh, outdoor video from me. Uh, I got kind of got tangled up in these uh, reviews a little bit, and uh, and we've had a, such a dry spell here in uh, Eastern Canada that uh, there was just a fire ban. We, you know, or they, I don't know if it was officially a fire ban, but it was for me anyway. Uh, I know all across uh, all of the, the province of Ontario is. Uh, is uh, shut down for fires and uh, over here in Quebec I mean you you were walking around on the ground and you can just hear the roots snapping under your feet when you're getting into the into the forest floor it was so nasty and so um, so dry it was uh, getting pretty bad I was actually able to take a green leaf off of a tree and strike it and catch it on fire with a ferrocerium rod uh, and I didn't want to take that chance at all it was just a no-go for me yeah, so I actually have an upcoming uh, review again. It's a solar charger, but uh, I just wanted to get up one last time with you guys uh, before I release that one. Um, but we're going to get out, do some exploring here. I know there's a couple of locations I want to check real quick for some mushrooms. Uh, if anything, we'll just uh, chat a little bit. And I got a little something I want to show you uh, that I got from a good buddy of mine. And uh, we'll go around and poke around an area like this and see if we could find any critters to film or some mushrooms to eat. So uh, that said... First, I'm going to go down here, check the, check the pond. I'm going to change this battery, and then uh, we'll go see what we can find. Okay, guys, so I just hit the trail. I came around this corner here, and I found the freaking mother load of chicken of the woods. <laughs> you have no idea how happy I am. My backpack is not big enough. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It may have to be short because I got way too much here. We're going to sneak in there first. I'm going to put on some bug spray. Oh, am I? I only have cream. Damn it. All right, I'm gonna bring you over here. We're gonna take a quick look. I'm gonna zoom you in. I'm gonna have to get eaten alive because I do not want this stuff all over my all over my mushrooms. So here we go. All right, can you see it yet? Let's go get it. All right guys, so I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. I found chicken before. Nothing like this, ever. Look at this. There's a whole bunch of these things all around. Now, I'm gonna try to put my hand near without shaking the crap out of the camera, just so you guys can have an idea of how big this stuff is. And then I'm gonna show you the back side of the tree where it's gonna blow, blow your mind. Now, this is my favorite mushroom. Luckily, I brought a little garbage bag with me, so I'm going to pack out as much of this as I possibly can. But, oh my god. This is, <laughs> this is something special. Here on the front of the tree, this is what I saw. And then... Uh, let's just go around here a little bit. Climb up here. Now, this is what's on the back side of the tree. So we got a stripe here. Doesn't look so bad, looks like a nice stripe, but there's more. I'm standing at the base of the tree. The chicken goes five feet tall and it's probably about three feet wide. There's no way I'm getting all this into my backpack, but I'm gonna fill my pack, fill the outside of my pack, and I'm gonna fill the garbage pack that's inside my pack. So um, maybe we can set you guys up somewhere and some more safe and uh, we'll get to harvesting some of this it's it can't get any fresher I'm telling you it's it's perfect I always carry a, a garbage bag with me when I'm going out uh, you never know if you need to just tuck your your, your video camera in there or uh, or whatever just to protect your you know to pick up garbage that somebody's left behind or whatever but today we're gonna fill this bad boy full of mushrooms, as many as we can get, and then uh, go home and cook them. Um, so I did bring my garber with me. Uh, not really a mushroom knife, but we'll do the best we can. Now, I'm gonna cut a few things off, give you a few tips about chicken in the woods. It's pretty easy to identify, but I do wish you would do your own uh, research on that. But here we go, let's get to work.
Look at that. It's, it's so fresh. For those of you who don't know Chicken of the Woods, it's very simple. It's got like a bright orange color on top with some rings. It's got a yellow bottom or a cream bottom. Now, what you may find, the color's all out of whack here. See if I can do it this way. What you may find is the exterior rim around the, um, around the mushroom is really, really edible. Now when it's fresh, you can go farther back down this way. But as you get here, it becomes extremely hard to digest. So what you wanna do is take an inch, inch and a half off of each piece, and then chop it up, strip it up, fry it up. Many ways you can cook this stuff. You can bread it and fry it. You can, um, you can bread it and fry it. You can fry it in garlic. Uh, you can roast it. You can do all kinds of things with it. These are excellent, excellent mushrooms. I got a gigantic batch of it right here. And uh, I just sent out the word to one of my buddies to come on over here and pick up the rest. So, unfortunately, this has got to be a short video, but uh, I can't leave this in a plastic bag. It'll start to sweat and go bad real quick, turn to mush. So I'm gonna leave here, whip off to the store, pick up some Ziploc bags and a chunk of butter, and uh, go home and get to work. Sorry guys, a while back, I was showing uh, I was watching one of Nathan's videos and he was using uh, this gigantic, uh, this gigantic ferro rod. And uh, I was asking him, I said, holy, holy, like, you know, man, I've seen you've been using that thing for a long time. I said, how many times, do you, how many fires have you lit with that thing? And he's like, hey, do you want to find out? I said, well, yeah. So he sent me one of these. Look at this. <laughs> Not only, and he, you know, he gave me, he gave me it to me uh, just plain and I had a, um, an idea to put a uh, custom rod, a uh, handle on it. So I kind of burnt a little uh, maple leaf with an ATO on there. And uh, I had a cool idea. So every time I light a fire with this thing, I'm gonna burn a little notch into it. Just a line, Boop, that's it. And uh, as I keep on going, I'm gonna fill this thing up with a whole bunch of lines. Um, what am I gonna do with it when it's full? I have no idea. But uh, after, after this thing's full, we'll count them all up and we'll figure out the wear on this thing and how many fires we got started. Now, I haven't, I haven't uh, lit a fire with this thing yet. Um, I've uh, just scraped it for fun just to see how it sparks. And uh, you know, everybody knows Nathan's ferro rods. They are absolute monsters. Um, I'll also be uh, making a um, matching uh, ferro rod handle for one of those uh, quick strikers too that he sent me, those high speed strikers. So I'll be giving that a try as well. And uh, the first fire I light is gonna be dedicated to Nathan. So the first one's gonna be a little end burnt into this guy. And then uh, after that, it's just gonna be lines. And if I dedicate any more fires to them, it'll be the initial of their first name. So, this is gonna be the, uh, the ferro rod and we're gonna get an idea of how many burns this guy, this guy can get into. Now, unfortunately, uh, it's been super dry in the last, uh, in the last uh, few months. Uh, we got rain today and we got rain a little bit earlier in the week, but I still don't wanna push my luck with anything big. But next weekend, when I get out, I'm gonna be cooking a chicken for you guys. We're gonna get out, have a good day. We're gonna relax a little bit, get a fire going with this guy. We'll burn our end into there eventually. And um, we'll go from there. So you guys stick around. I gotta get on home to the store and then home and get all these mushrooms all processed up. And uh, I'll see you again soon. So we're just gonna go ahead and clean these up. We will have a uh, nice big bowl right here that we have almost full. And uh, we'll clean these guys up, remove those hard stems. Now, on a little guy like this, you could probably use just about most of it. You'll see how the stem kind of comes right here and then it's the little bracket. You, on this, these little tiny guys, just cut that off. And you could probably even eat this too as well. But I cut it off. But here you got all the rest of that mushroom that's ready to go. And on the bigger ones, see if I can find one in here. There's a nice one. On these big ones here, you're going to want to cut out 
a section like this. And as it gets older, it'll get harder and harder as it goes up. So you really want the really soft rubbery stuff. This one's a pretty firm one. Probably one of the first ones that popped up on the tree, even though it's uh, still super fresh. So we'll cut this section off. You'll, you'll notice that all of a sudden your knife will, will bite uh, really easy and just cut right into it. So we'll remove this piece. All that's good to go. And the same on this one. Now I'm pretty sure I mentioned uh, while we were out that uh, while you eat the bottom part of it, uh, it is edible. Uh, it can be a little hard on the stomach. So uh, just try to, um, try to cut it off. But I will... Uh, Continue on inspecting these pieces. Make sure there's no uh, chicken beetles or slugs uh, attached to them. Uh, you don't want to accidentally uh, fry one of those guys up and eat it. Although it probably wouldn't hurt you as long as it's cooked. But you don't want to have any part of that. So you'll see here, this actually all on top is actually uh, chicken beetle poo. So you may be asking, okay, well, how do you get how do you get rid of all that? So basically, what we'll do is I'll. Um, Clean these up. Once I've got them all chopped up and ready to go, I'll give them a quince, quick rinse off before I toss them into the pan. Uh, you don't want to soak your mushrooms too long because otherwise it'll soak up too much and you'll wind up with a, uh, with a, a lot, of, lot of frying to do uh, to get rid of all that liquid and it can make your mushrooms a little soggy. So um, I'm going to keep on going with this and I'll get back to you in a little bit once this is uh, all complete and uh, ready, for, ready to be washed and thrown in the pan. Sorry guys, here we go. Found us a, uh, a slug. So we're just going to pick him off. Take off all these good pieces. We're going to pick him off, throw him into the garbage bag, and then uh, continue on working. One bowl, full. Alright, second bowl, full. There you go, little Victorian ox. These guys come in handy all the time. Once you've washed and shredded your uh, chicken in the woods, throw it in the frying pan with a little bit of butter and a little bit of garlic. Fry it all up till all the water's gone. And once they're all done, just pack them up into Ziploc bags like these, freeze them on up, and they're ready to go for a long time. Thanks for watching, guys. Get out and explore.